What's up, Internet? My name is Craig Lowen. I'm a program manager working at Microsoft on the Windows subsystem for Linux, or WSL. And I'm here today to show you the latest feature coming to WSL, which is adding support for Linux GUI apps. So here I have Windows Terminal open on my desktop. I'm going to run code dot. This is an experience that you might have seen before, where I'm able to run the Windows version of VS Code to access and build, debug, and run all of my Linux projects. As you can see, the Linux file endings here. Um, this is an awesome experience for editing and debugging inside of WSL. What's great about this feature of adding Linux GUI app support is I can go and run any Linux GUI app, like another editor, and access my Linux files directly, build, run, and debug totally in this environment. So you'll notice that I didn't start up an X server. This is something that's just you open WSL and can run right away. And that all of the actual tiling, decorations, etc., are all totally developed by the Linux app. So these all run as independent win windows with lovely drop shadow, and I can fully interact with them. If I go and open other documents, I get a GTK-based picker to go uh, actually open my different documents on side of my Linux distro. Uh, so really, what's awesome about this is, you know, as a fan of Vim, for example, I can go and open up the same file in GVim, in Gedit, uh, or any IDE of my choice, JetBrains, VS Code, whatever I like to use. I have the power to do that now inside of WSL. So I've closed out of all those windows, and then now that we've done some inner loop developing, uh, let's actually test this app. And this is another case where you can see an app running um, inside of uh, Linux and as a directly as a Linux app that you can test with. So I'm going to run Test Cafe. I'm going to point this to Edge, and this is actually Microsoft Edge running fully in Linux. And I'm going to run my test suite, in this case, test.js. From here, Test Cafe is going to boot up the Linux version of Microsoft Edge and it's going to run this. I want to just pause for a sec, and you can actually take a look and see that the little Linux icon there um, at the bottom denotes that this is a Linux app running on Windows. So Test Cafe is started. Um, it's connected to the dev version of my website. And then from here, it runs some automatic tests. So I'm not typing this, but it's going and testing the search on my website, and then the test pass. So this is a really cool way that you can develop your Linux apps you know, from going from the inner loop to actually running and testing them on the same machine, all on Windows. And the next application that I want to show you with GUI apps is the fact that we also include audio support. Um, so we have full support for audio and microphone inside of the app. And I'm not going to run it from the command line today instead. I'm going to go to my start menu. I'm going to scroll down to Ubuntu 20.04, which is the version I'm using here in my distro. And you can see Audacity is an option here. If I click this and open it up, it will actually fully open the Audacity program inside of my Ubuntu 2004 distro. And so here's Audacity, which is a app that you can use to record and edit audio files. And we'll just record something really quick. Um, luckily, I have this lying around. And you can see that the full waveform is perfectly captured inside of Audacity, even what I'm talking about right now. And I can go back and even play some of the <laughs> recordings that I did. Um, so overall, this is a really full end-to-end -end solution of you being able to test and develop any Linux GUI app inside of the system. So I've opened up a bunch of apps off camera. The first is Gazebo. It is a robotics simulator app. And here we have our intrepid uh, orange robot that is exploring a simulated cave. And Arviz is the other app that I've opened, and it allows you to visualize what this robot is seeing. It has a laser scanner device mounted to the front of it. That's what these red dots are, are the laser detecting how far away any area that is in front of it. And then we have its camera feed mounted here. And if I want to easily move between these apps, I just have to hit Alt-Tab, and then you can actually see that they're all represented here directly as I would uh, with any normal Windows application. And lastly, I have Windows Terminal up so I can actually control the robot. What I want to highlight here is that we are doing some complicated 3D math here to simulate this robot driving around, um, to simulate it mapping the cave. And this is actually possible to be performant because it is connected to the GPU on Windows. Thanks to GPU compute support inside of WSL, we can have all these computations be done by your Windows GPU. Um, and that's how we're able to actually get 60 FPS directly inside of the simulation. In general, this is a 
project that we're really excited to see what you will be able to do with. Um, we're really excited to see that uh, all these Linux apps are running directly on Windows. And if you want to learn more, please visit the GitHub repository, Microsoft slash WSLG. There will be links in the description. And thank you very much.